Alrighty, once again we're here on uh, Crap Games, on Great Collections, and we're still in the Tato Collection. And uh, this is a game called Gladiator. Uh, not too well known. But let me just give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. You basically move from opponent to opponent, trying to uh, dodge these fireballs and everything by raising and lowering your shield which is also the same button as jumping as it were moving left and right and that's a real shame it, uh, it doesn't work out at all it, it's awkward it's clunky obviously this these were the days before you know street fighter and all that but there had to be something better. I mean, you've got, you know, pieces of armor flying off. I, I think I'm going to lose my shield here. Yeah, but if you get lucky, you can actually hit these guys. Now, this would be okay, I guess, but the control scheme is just far too awkward. Now look at that little jig. You can't tell me that's not the most awkward thing you've ever seen. I mean, I'm doing surprisingly well for the horrible control scheme. I guess I'm making the best of it because I practiced a little before I got here. But, oh my goodness, look at that armor. I know she's a girl, but, you know, why, why did you have to give, give her, like, lace armor, I guess? That can only be made out of macrame. See that? I got, I got the golden shield, of course, it just throws me into a fireball. It, it's one of those things that this game wouldn't be terrible, and maybe it wasn't terrible at the time. I wouldn't know. It's it's not that well a known game, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, it, it really deserved to just stay on the shelf. I know it existed. I myself remember seeing it in arcades and that sort of thing, but no, uh, nobody played it. Everyone was busy playing Street Fighter. I think that's what I should be doing next anyway.